Hello everybody! Welcome to the We Crochet Facebook page and YouTube channel. We are so excited to be back here again this week with some wonderful guests to share something super exciting uh, with you guys all. So we're here, we're ready to chat. Hopefully you guys are coming in and ready to chat. You can say hello when you come in, maybe where you're watching from, um, tell us what you're working on, what you've got going on. We are getting closer and closer to the holiday season. I know what Hanukkah starts. Is it this week? I don't even know. I think Hanukkah starts this week. Christmas is coming up in less than three weeks. It is just crazy. Like we're trying to get all of our stitching done and our gift ideas done. Um, but it's coming. It'll all fall together. It'll come together. Um, and we've got some really great uh, winter crafting holiday things coming up today that we're going to talk about. Hi, Heather. It's great to see you this morning, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Um, okay. <clears throat> Before I bring the guest in, there is two things, three things, three things that I want to remind you of. Uh, one, which we will also talk about this in a little bit. Right now we have 30% off of all Brava yarn. We're going to throw a link in there for you. The prices are marked down already. You don't have to use like a promo code or anything. Just go shop any Brava. So that striped, speckles, sport, worsted, tweed, 500 minis, Everything Brava is included in the sale, 30% off um, until Sunday. So you've got a little bit of time left to go ahead and shop that sale. If you missed out on anything Brava before, you're going to need Brava for what we're talking about today. Uh, we'll get there in just a minute. Also, a reminder, we only have a couple of the Notion dishes left. So if you were looking to get one of those, go ahead and grab it. This is the collaboration we did with Sugar Bee Pottery, um, these little Notion dish, or you can use it for jewelry or whatever. It doesn't have to just be for knitting and crochet. It could be for many different things, a great little stocking stuffer, or maybe just for somebody who really likes sheep because there's sheep on the outside. They're so cute. Uh, we'll throw in a link for that one too. And just a reminder, oh, Janice, I said we were going to talk about those other bags. Okay, hold on, guys. I'll grab it. Um, a reminder that last time we talked about these great new project bags. We have this one here with all our little friends on here. And look, a granny square sweater. It is so cute. Um, perfect for your projects. A cinch top to it. They are the eco bags. So they've got all that story behind it about the eco-friendliness of the bag. Um, and then we also had the super large size here with this really cute one with the two llamas. I think they're llamas. I don't know. Maybe they're alpacas. Alpacas. Alpaca party. So it must be alpacas um, on the bag as well. We did this with a really great um, illustrator that we were able to partner with. Okay. Let me just grab this over here. Ooh, sorry. Stretching. We also just did a collaboration with a company called Elevation Yarns. Um, they are a yarn store in Denver, Colorado, but they also make these super cute bags. There's two different sizes. This is the smaller size. There's also a larger size, but it's the same um, shape and everything else. It's got this really cute strap. So you can wear it like over your shoulder. You can pull it this way. You can wear it as a backpack. Wait, this. Like I'm all twisted up here. You can wear it as a backpack if you want to. It's got this nice little tie here on the top to hold it all together. And then when you open it up, it's got what they're calling slip pockets because there's no zippers in here, but it's got two really nice big pockets and one smaller pocket right in here for like hooks or pens or pencils. Um, yeah, so those are brand new. We'll throw a link in there. You can grab those. Also a really great gift. Limited quantities on these uh, because they are a collaboration. You can grab one for the projects you're going to be making today. So let me bring in our guests because we have so much to talk about and everything else. Oh, before I do that, hold on. Let me just check the comments. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So I said hi to Heather. Um, we have Diane. We have Kelly, Julia, Susan. Who else is here? Leah, Heather. Um, Renee, it is so, so wonderful to see you. Hi, Shirley. Um, it's great to have you guys here and chiming in. Okay, let's bring the guests in because we have so much to talk about. I'm so excited. Okay, so my guests today are Hannah of Hand Jan Crochet. Good morning. We have Brianna from Brianna K Designs. Hi. And we have Michelle from MJ's Off the Hook. They so are excited back. to be here. They're back at it again. <laughs> and they have yeah. something new to share with you guys. So they all came here to talk about it. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. 
Okay, there is a question from Sunny Kelly. What are the little bowls for? So they're kind of made as like a notions dish that you could put in like your stitch markers, your darning needle, and just like keep it on like a coffee table or your desk or something. But they'd also be really great for like your jewelry to keep like in a bathroom if you take your rings off when you wash your hands or before you jump in the shower, you could put stuff in there or, you know, maybe like a couple loose change. I don't know. They're just really cute. If you like the sheep and everything, you can find so many different ways to use it. It does not just have to be for notions. I don't know. Maybe you could even like, if you're a tea drinker, you could put a tea bag on it when you take it out, right? I don't know. Lots of things you could use it for. Um, because it is pottery, it is food safe, whatever her glaze is that she put on it. So you could do those types of things. Okay. Everybody is saying hello to you guys. I think they're just as excited as I am to have you here. I'm super excited to get to chat with you again. Um, if you don't know, the ladies were just here not too long ago talking about their granny square. Well, not granny square, but not your yeah. average granny crochet along um, mm -hmm. with some wonderful garments that they had, plus a bags. They couldn't let these granny squares go. They had to do something else with them. And they are here with stockings so just in time for the holidays they have a brand new crochet along and we're here to chat all about it the yarn you need when it starts all of the dates okay let's just yeah. jump into it can you show us what your stockings are so everybody can see sure. them they're wonderful Ta -da! we just couldn't help I ourselves we have to keep going they are so so wonderful i love them so much and they all use brava tweed <clears throat> yes. So perfect timing. You can go, run, don't walk, get your Brava Tweed to make these stockings um, right now. Yes. So, okay. So where do we want to start? I guess let's start from the beginning. When does the crochet along start so people know? And how do they sign up for the crochet along? Does anyone have a link handy? No, <laughs> um, we, did, we just put it in the chat. Oh, you so did? Okay. 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 Um, oh, I'll I take think, this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So this crochet along has officially started and you're so fortunate to be joining us today because it now is on the blogs as well. So if you yeah. followed us three before, we love doing these crochet alongs because we just feel like the experience is so much better with friends. And so we're bringing everyone together as friends to do this. We don't want you to feel stressed out. So listen, if you don't do any of these projects till next year or you do them on Christmas day because you're just chilling in the afternoon and you're tapped out, that's fine. Christmas is like classic. It never goes out of style. It's gonna be here year after year. But if you wanna get our collection together because we throw in a lot of extras and bonuses and we do an ebook together, that's a limited time. So if you wanna do that, jump on that link. You can sign up for the free version where you're going to get the printable uh, supply list, as well as some really, really cute gift tags that are printable if you want some care tags for your crafting, like gift giving. But um, our uh, patterns are now on our blogs, which I'm going to kick it over to Hannah because it's more than just stockings, right, Hannah? Oh, yes. Like, we can never <laughs> just keep things simple, can we? Never, ever. <laughs> so we kind of, we had the idea of doing the stockings, and then we're, all three of us were like, we can make like a bauble that goes with the stocking that we've done. Cause like you said, Brianna's got her hexagons and Michelle's done the traditional granny square and I've done the granny stitch. So we have all done coordinating baubles, which I managed to pluck one off the tree earlier. So, um, in all sorts of colors, all sorts of variety. so they're within the crochet along as well. So if a stocking like puts the fear of anything in you and you think, no, I can't manage that. I don't have the time. Then we yeah. have baubles too. Uh, yeah. and then, the amazing Brianna, because again, we couldn't just stop there. So that's six patterns. We added another one. Brianna has an amazing yeah. advent calendar. Mm -hmm. which, um, I was thinking that I reckon people can bust that out really quickly and yeah. then double oh. up on their chocolates. Like this, yes. in my mind, I was Eat like, all the chocolates up until the day that you get to where we are. So technically you yeah. get 12 chocolates, you know, like for the over the next six days. Yeah. If you make it within the next two. That's my theory. That's my theory. So yeah, so we have seven projects for everyone to join in with. And they are really like beginner friendly. We've deliberately done it be beginner friendly and really quick and easy as well. I love the bobble part of it because, you know, 
I'm always looking for something quick and simple and little that I can gift to people. Cause you know, when you're a maker, I don't know, I can't ever put my hooks down. I'm always doing something. And I guess I feel a little bit of like, I don't know, anxiety when I don't have a project that I know I'm going to. So I love the bobble because it's not a huge project. It's no. not sizing of things. It's very straightforward and you can add it as a little handmade gift for anybody you want to give it to that, yeah. you know, you don't want to do a whole sweater for or something along those lines. So I love, love, love that so much. And it's a really great way to do your gauge swatch too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just two granny squares like for mine and you just get these from the dollar store and yeah. it's yeah. so easy to put together. Is so yours, I could tell that Hannah's was round um, and Brianna is not round. You did like the uh, the flattish one, if you want to call it yes. flat. I don't know what they're called. Squished. And Michelle, I yeah, I don't know mine's what the shape round. is. Mine's round, mine's round as well. And it's, yeah, it's so easy. You basically are just seaming them together and, you know, making a little cover. So easy. And I have the two sizes as well. So you can get the bigger ball. And nice. Granny square is just an additional round. So it's just a matter of instead of three rounds, this one has four rounds and it goes over the bigger ball, like so quick and easy. I think, why didn't I do that? Like sometimes like you do these things and it's like, why did I never do this before? My tree looks so good this year with all its handmade ornaments. It's amazing. Yeah. I love, I love the crocheted ornaments on the tree. I just keep adding. Every year I just keep doing more and yeah. adding to it. I have a second tree in my house that is just handmade ornaments, either ones that I've made or my kids have made. And I love it so much um, mm -hmm. just because it's so great, especially with like kids. You can see how they've grown over the years. And, yeah. you know, we'll talk about the different ones that I've made and what years they were. And like, it's just a lot of fun to think yeah. back and have all the handmade pieces on your tree. For um, sure. Mm -hmm. Shirley said that she loves the advent calendar. I'm still making the wheat pattern hat and mittens. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's just take a real one quick second to also say that Brianna did a crochet along not long ago with her um, autumn wheat, autumn which wheat. also had a little bobble. Yeah. Hannah did a whole course last year on bobble making with color work that you can do. And Michelle has, what is it, 24 days of ornaments, Michelle? Or yeah. is it? Yeah. Uh, or 25. Yeah. There's even 25. 25. Yeah, the Merry Minis. So there was yeah. an ornament for every single, I don't know what I was thinking, but you know, I did an <laughs> ornament every single day. But you were now, effective. It was fun. It was so much fun. And I still have, I'm using all the ornaments. I did gift a lot of them because they do make great, like, little totally. press offers and people just love them. They're so yeah. fun. Yeah, I love handmade ornaments. What you saying about these baubles as well, won't we? Like if you make a few, you just add them to presents. Like they make yeah. amazing like little yes. tags and then they get to keep them. And I'm not going to lie, like if you just make some, throw them on the tree and you can use whatever colors inspire you. They are really pretty in this Brava tweet. It's such a classic look. Yeah. But if you have like a neighbor who stops by like unexpectedly yeah. and brings you a gift, <laughs> yeah. you're prepared. <laughs> you can just be like, oh, I made you handmade. <laughs> and they'll be so impressed by it. And you can just like pull it off the tree and gift it real quick. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, Julia also said a great teacher gift. That's so true. Yeah. Uh, sometimes there's people that you get a gift card for. And, you know, gift cards are great. They can pick out what they want. But I always love to add a little something, you know, handmade, yeah. personal touch, maybe in colors you know that they love or something. So these are really great for the baubles. Um, the stockings are also really great, not just for stockings, but I love it as like a gift bag idea that you can put stuff in it, um, you know, whether it have a theme or something, you could put a bottle of wine in it. You, you could, could put a bunch of just in little, there. Yeah, a bunch of little gifts yeah. into it to make it something like spectacular for oh. gifting. You could Michelle's Michelle's massive stocking. You could get like four bottles of wine in there. Right? Ooh, yeah. I want to show stocking. <laughs> this again is a four round granny square. This is the three round granny square. So you get, you know, it's the same construction. You just mm -hmm. can pick what size you want. So this one would fit a bottle of wine really nice. And like you know, Hannah said you could fit lots of <laughs> Lots of things. other things in there, chocolates, whatever. Yeah. 
and they're yeah. fun. And I had a question this morning about tails with the mm. granny square. And I'm like, oh, no, no, we're not weaving all these tails. We have a really quick little trick to just knot those. And it's the inside of a stocking. Nobody cares, right? So yeah. it's not as tedious as you think. It's actually, you know, it's so easy to just whip off granny squares. We know that wherever yes. we are. And don't worry about the tails. You're just going to yeah. knot them after. And we all have video tutorials to show mm -hmm. how to make all of ours. But yeah, it's actually a really quick, I just made this one up the other day to do a reel actually for it. I was saving all my granny squares and it was like, just like a quick afternoon to put together another video and put the whole stocking together. So it yeah. really doesn't take as long as you might think it might take. No, and I'm with you, Michelle. I ended up just working over my tail ends when I did all this color work. I was like, I'm not no, because it's, you're not wearing it. It's not worn daily. It's not going to have as much wear and tear. And it's on the inside of something that like, it, like Michelle said, there's a knot on the inside. Who cares? No one's going to look at the inside of your stocking. Mm -hmm. And this one only has 12 hexagons. So 12 granny hexagons and you've got all your hexagons to make it. These do work up really quick. So, but Hannah's, I think, probably might work up the quickest though. Yeah. In the plain color, I think this one probably does. And I did a similar thing with my, my multicolored one, especially the two color one. I just carried the yarn because no one's going to see it. No, so like, you, you really can make these nice and quick and easy. Yeah. I think yeah. people, people worry about really colorful stuff, don't they? Because of the color changes, but please don't worry. Like we have lots of tips and tricks and we also all put loads of different embellishments on, didn't we? We did tassels. <laughs> like we really went for it. That was my favorite part. And you can match, like if you like, you know, the pom poms instead or the trees that Brianna did. I did the tassels, but really it's kind of whatever. And we also added, this is a new little thing that we crochet has is the stocking yes. hanger. So I added that on here as well. It has a little snowflake. And yeah. yeah. So we have two different options. We have one with a like, well, we call it the light snowflake, I think, and the dark snowflake. Um, cause this one's filled in, this one is not, they do go two different directions ish, but I mean, you're going to fold it over and you'll put the stocking like on the outside, the wee crochet part on the inside, and you just seam it right through the holes to yeah. attach it. And it just really does add that little extra beautiful pop oh. on it that makes it not like, it just elevates the style of it. It takes it and makes it a little more luxurious, you know? <laughs> It does. And you don't have to have, because I have a leather hole punch for the ones I'll make occasionally. But for if you don't want to buy an extra tool that's not exactly always like cheap, you can just get these tags from We Crochet and they're already pre done for you. So it's yeah. just so on. So if you're yeah. ordering the yarn, which is yeah. on sale, so and that's what's amazing. Right now it's 30% off. So this is really affordable. You want to grab this for your stash, anyways, because it's just amazing yarn. Yeah. And yeah. Here's and now. Um, we should say while you're shopping, please go use, um, Janice, can you throw the link in again, go over to the crochet along page, sign up for the free version or get the VIP package with all the patterns and everything and use the link that is in there. That is, um, the ladies affiliate link. So they get a little bit of, um, money for when you purchase from them, like your price isn't changing. It's just, we give a little bit to them and we love to get to share that. Uh, but yeah, use their links that are in the free pattern, if that's what you're getting, or the free version, or in the PDF pattern, if you're downloading that, just make sure you're supporting them because that's why we're here too, is to support design. Because why are we making yarn if there's no designers making beautiful things? So yes, we need to share the love. Nice. Um, question for you guys. So I know this is not your first stocking. We've You've been making <laughs> all kinds of crochet stockings for years and years, right? And yeah. So here's my question. Crochet stockings or crochet things as we know can stretch a little bit, right? Over time. Yeah. Do you line your stockings or do you find that they hold up well over time that you don't have to worry about lining it if you don't want to? I've never lined one. I could, and you could easily do it by just the same way. If you want to put cardboard inside of it, lay it on top of a piece of fabric, cut out the shape in the fabric 
And then I, I would just use fabric glue. I don't like my sewing machine. Maybe other people do. And that's great. I, I'm envious. But we broke up and we're not getting back together. So fabric glue is the way to go for me. And you can just yes. stick it inside of there. And, and that will help if you are worried about keeping things in it long, like long term. I don't tend to stuff my stockings until Christmas Eve. So right. it's only in there for one day. I've never, I've mean, had my stockings for years. They've, I've never had an issue with stretching, um, but more so with display. And Hannah put yeah. together a reel. If you overstuff them like we like to in our house, the stretch is kind of nice because you can like, yeah. juggle a lot more in there. Yeah. And next year you get more presents because there's yeah. <laughs> what's not to love about that. <laughs> Most yeah. guys look fine even when we stretch them out and I really love these the cuffs that you fold over because then it, you can you can fit even more stuff like I have yeah. way too much stuff in my kids stockings yes they're spoiled yeah. that's the best part of Christmas I'm going to show you how we love to display these yeah I did yeah. a video mine's all tangled up I'm going to out now um so basically just make a piece of card and stuff it in the middle of it and then because you know that they go like however neat your crochet is however well you like block yep. Go block them. They tend to have a bit of a wobble on the heel, don't they? And oh, they right, go yeah. here and that kind of stuff. And that's, that's why normal. That yeah. Oh, yours holds up really. Well. I think that's it's the first. This is the only stocking I have never had to put cardboard in. I ever. bet it's because of the seams. Okay. Yeah, sure. so. yeah. Either, but it still would yeah. look nice, even yeah. if you just want that perfect look when you're hanging them. Yeah. yeah. But, with this one, because the granny stitch has the holes in it, I was like, no, I really want it to, to sit nicely. Yeah. And they look, yeah. But my children, oh my gosh, the boys were just like, mommy, how's he going to get the presents in? <laughs> <laughs> they were proper panicking. I was like, it's okay. Like, we'll we'll Christmas. We'll take <laughs> time. time. Nobody <laughs> panic. Yeah. It's so cute. Um, I do want to say there was a comment in here. Hold on. Let me just scroll back just a little bit. Um, so Susie commented, I'm primarily a knitter, but you have made me join this crochet along. So super Yay! excited. That is always so exciting. I mean, we all appreciate knitting for what it is and what it can do. But yeah, come over here to the dark side. Like, <laughs> Go so quick and it's just so cool everything that you can do um deborah is loving the idea of putting wine inside of it um you are always you're, you're getting a lot of great comments here how they love the designs shirley also said i'm always impressed by the tutorial videos from all three of the designers they're so helpful um in case you ever have a question you just go check out the video and you can follow right along um, Kelly said, I love all the embellishments. So yeah, that's really great too, because I know um, we'll have Michelle show it on hers. I know she got wooden cutouts for names and I know Hannah was showing something and Brianna, you guys all showed a version of how to put names on it, but the embellishments too could be a way to distinguish whose is whose for each of the different stockings. Yeah. Yes, I ordered mine off Etsy, just an Etsy shop. I thought it was so cute. I ended up ordering them for the entire family. Everybody has a name. So because oh. I have some stockings. So everybody's yeah. going to get a stocking with their name. And so that's fun. But there's so many different ways that you can do this. I've done different methods, I think, every single year. You can even go to the dollar store and just like buy um, me and then, you know, try and fancy write it or stencil it if your writing is not good but chalkboard i found little like chalkboards that you could write names so many different options i feel like michelle was talking to me there and she was like or you could just stencil it if your handwriting is not good yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah no shame i know you never like i don't my know my handwriting is not good i had somebody else write my own name on a like name tag at a PTA meeting once because I was like, your handwriting looks so much better than mine. Will you write my name? <laughs> I just want to look professional today. <laughs> and I did uh, matching little trees on my stockings that match that advent calendar. So it's kind of a little bit of a set happening there if you wanted to do matchy matchy, but you don't have to. Um, and these wooden things, like there's so many different versions of those out there. You can find them at craft stores or on Amazon. It's really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mich uh, Hannah, what did you do for yours? I know you were gluing. Yes. I saw the video of you gluing stuff on, but what yeah. exactly did you use for yours? So I used a wooden tag that I just got online from Amazon. And I had these were place settings for a wedding that we went to. So I had one for each of us. They were a bit, a bit um, spilt on, but they're fine. They're rustic. It's fine. <laughs> I, I love reusing stuff. And I was like, if not, that's 
going to go to the cupboard. It's going to do. I hate throwing stuff like that away. And I was like, I will find a purpose for it. I have so much stuff like that in our house. Mm -hmm. um, and then the little wooden cutouts, I have absolutely no idea where I got them from, but they are years and years old and I have a big box of them. And so, like, you can pick these up in craft places and stuff like that and then just some twine to attach it to it. So, like, you can do anything. You could use yeah. glitter pen. If you want to go bling, you could use glitter pens. If you want to, you can, like, etch it. You could burn it into some wood, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's so many different ways you can do it. I think yeah. that's the fun thing about this one's we're just trying to say raid your stash. Like we know you have crafts that you've gotten in little grab bags or you picked up that you're like, oh, I'll use yeah. this someday. These ornaments that I did this year, the the ornament uh, that's inside, like the glass part, the plain part, I've had those for five or six years in the attic. So <laughs> we all know we have craft supplies around. Now is the time with fun stuff like this to get really festive and just see what else you can add to it that's super fun. Yeah, I love that idea because I know like when we first got our very first Christmas tree, we didn't have a ton of ornaments. So I bought like really cheap balls just to kind of hang so we had something. And now they kind of just sit there. Like I don't put them on anymore because we've definitely filled out our collection of ornaments. And I love that you could take those and just yeah. recover them with yeah. this because it would just be a really great way to repurpose or maybe something totally. you don't care for anymore. You can grab that recover it with this and then you're not having to spend a ton of extra money either for getting all of the inside ball part yeah. of it and brava the brava line has a ton of colors brava tweed got new colors this year which is why we wanted to do this because we did um a crochet along a while back where we did cardigans and that's what we use is brava tweed fell in love with it and there is something i will say there is something just rustic holiday magical about the tw the tweed look i'm sure that uh, hannah and michelle agree with me there it's yeah. just so yeah your reds and yeah they just look it's so really well. it's a really nice red they do go well together was, hannah always shows how well they go together yeah and even like if you are like a non-traditional like and you wanted and of course i had to do like something pink, pink and bluey colors because i just love that but and that's where you can personalize for your family members though yeah. as well is like picking out. So I did this one for Rose, my granddaughter. So that's her name's on it because of the pinks and everything. So she's got a nice big stocking. I think Emma also took one of the cabled ones I made too. She's gonna have a she's gonna have a couple stockings this year, but that's okay. That's awesome. okay. You need one everywhere from everybody. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I'd be cool that I have to be that grandma that has like stocking that has stockings for everyone who comes to the house gets a stocking because yes. I make so many, it works out. Yeah. Yeah. Just have to yes. buy extra. So I was gonna say the presents are the only thing, aren't they? You have to then buy, <laughs> to buy the presents to go in them. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, and as Brianna said, we did expand uh Brava Tweed by nine colors um mm -hmm. this year. So it's the same Brava that you love. It just has the tweed neps in it. Um, which is really great. So we still have the ones that we started out with when we launched the yarn, which are kind of like the neutral league colors. We had the pink, we had the blue, we had the gold color. Um, but now we've really added in a whole range into this color palette that really, I feel bumped it up a notch. Like it's a very sophisticated color palette. It is great for garments, but it's also really great for these types of projects because it's easy care. If something would get on it, just throw it in the wash machine. You know, you might have to take your tag off or whatever. Um, but, you know, it's also very affordable. So it makes it really easy to grab a bunch of this to make holiday gifts. And you're not breaking the bank over it as you do it too. And plus it's 30% off right now. So like even bigger of a discount. Just throw every color in and mix and match it to make your perfect stockings. But yeah, we love it. It's so soft. It's so great. Love it. So how long does the crochet along run for? So today it officially launched. The patterns are up on the blog if you're doing the free version. Um, how long does that kind of run for that we're doing the crochet along? Through Christmas Eve. Yeah, Yay. we're running it right until Christmas Eve. So awesome. All Although I feel like just we pro it might be Christmas Day because one of us is going to have to remember on Christmas Day to shut it off. So you might get it through Christmas Day. <laughs> Yeah. That just dawned on me, but we're going to say Christmas Eve yeah. with a few extra hours, maybe. 
Okay. With all of our crochet alongs, the only thing that goes away is the yeah. opportunity to get the whole collection. Like yeah. the, the patterns on the blogs, the individual patterns, us, us and our community support and our community groups, that will always be there. There's never an end date to that. But the only thing that goes away is that whole collection. Right. So you're getting a discounted price by bundling it all together. So if you want to get all three stocking patterns, all three bobble patterns, the advent, if you're getting at least, you know, two or three of them, it's totally worth getting that VIP package or the bundle or I don't actually know what you're calling it. Um, but just go ahead and grab that. So you get them all together. You know where they are. You can keep it all nice and organized to come back to year after year. I know one of the big things in our family too is making stockings for all the babies. It was yeah. every time there was a baby, you made a stocking. I did it for my friends too when they had babies just to have something, um, just an alternative to like a baby blanket. Uh, finally, we're kind of, I think, done with babies. So I've not been making as many stockings, but it's still fun. It's still a really great thing to do. Um, and also to like refresh. Like once you've had stocking for a while, Every now and then it's nice to refresh it, change it up a little bit. Maybe your decor has changed or something like that, that you can go ahead and refresh. And they're just so great. I know I have one uh, not made by anybody in my family, but it is a knit stocking and it has my name embroidered on it. And it's just special to get something out every year that you can remember, you know, and who gave it to you, who made it for you, all of those things. So I love the stockings. They're so great. They're fun. And we have so, to, talk about, Hannah has to mention the bonus. She one does. Of Hannah has to mention this oh, incredible Brianna. bonus she yeah. threw in. Well, Brianna, Brianna mentioned the um, gift care tags so that you yep. can print those off and you can attach them. You can tell people how to look after them. Yeah. Getting. Look, look at this cleverness here. And then Brianna as well has color inspiration so you can attach your colors and work out how to place your colors within the patterns. And then, oh, look, I feel like I'm like, um, like yeah. producing you here. And then the, the holiday care guide, no, the holiday gift list, sorry, so you can get planning and get organizing because there's not many days to go, but you can get that list sorted. And then the other thing that we've added in as well is a 2024 gift planner which is um, 60 pages long and it's mm -hmm. worth, yeah, so it's worth, I, don't know, I got carried away. Um, it yeah. sells for $20, so it's almost the price of the collection anyway. So you get that and that has got $60 worth of pattern vouchers in it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, a, it's, a, it's a good deal if you would it like that. tutorials and everything in it. It has like tutorials, like it's got a load of information. Yeah, it's awesome. That's crazy. Yeah, like, I can't believe you guys always add more and more and more. You outdo yourself every time. We make and it so irresistible. It just makes sense. <laughs> yes, I just and had fun putting it together. So I was like, oh, <laughs> we all love what we do. So it's just it's fun to do these things and put them together. And we love coming together as a team yeah. and mm -hmm. be inspired. Mm -hmm. And we're always like, what are we going to do next? <laughs> yeah. do next? We love it too. We love yeah. having you here and chatting about it and seeing what you guys come up with. I mean, we'll give you a break now. You have this crochet along. We'll wait until at least like, okay, February. And then we'll be asking what the next one is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we know there's going to be lots more coming up next year. Um, Kelly is asking, how much is that VIP experience? Do you have the exact price for that or is it all in that same link that we had posted before they can get all that information there yeah no it's all in there but it's 24 dollars um which is then a saving of 48 so you save 48 dollars by buying the vip collection awesome um deborah also said i appreciate all of you and your advice and creativity thank you and merry christmas um oh. that's so wonderful so um, nice. yeah you get a lot of value out of it because again, you're not just getting a pattern. You're not just getting, you know, those extra guides and things like that. You're getting the video tutorial of these wonderful designers walking you things. So if you have questions, you just check out the video and you'll be able to see exactly where they're putting their hook, exactly what they're doing. And then you can follow along. It really is just like, I, I, I any beginner should be able to pick this up and just follow yeah. along once you know the basic stitches. Yeah. Um, and how to actually hold a hook and yarn, you can make this. Like, mm -hmm. yep, the All tools and resources are there for you to make any one of these patterns. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So 
So thank you ladies so much for joining yeah. me today. It has been a pleasure. I hope everybody is signing up for this because guys, they are gorgeous stockings. You're going to want to make them in every possible color combination. Save some for yourself, but then give to others. Spread the joy and the magic of crochet and making with your hands. And I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season. I think we have two more live shows yet this month and then we're done for the year until 2024 i can't believe how close we are here to the end of the year it is crazy how fast it is going yeah so crazy yeah so thanks everybody and we will be back here again next week to chat again have a wonderful day everyone bye, bye.